<laughs> oh, we have zebra nothing. Is there any trees on this map? Did we load up Sim Safari when I wasn't looking? What happened? Uh, There's nothing. There's only zebras. That's uh, it. They better use their wood wisely to get to feudal age. <laughs> this is truly you a nothing map. Uh, welcome to a an Age of Empires 2 nothing map. Uh, in the yellow, we have Matchlawa. You know, he has that farm bonus with slabs. He's going to make great use of that with his 450 wood. Um, in the the blue, we have... S S Dave said it's spongy, right? Spongy. Uh, it's spongy. He's playing as the Huns. In the green, we have Khmer for... Dialis, Dicel Silent. Silent, that's what we have. And the purple, we have Min Jamin playing as the Portuguese. In the gray, we have Del Delphalor playing as the Celts. Uh, in the orange, we have Johnny playing as the Mongols. That's a great sieve for this. In the teal, we have Ray playing as the Italians, who definitely did something wrong. And then in the uh, red, we have Goths for Eldry. Uh, what do you? What do they even do on this map, Dave? Well, I mean, you got first of all, you got to make sure you use your wood very wisely until you get that market up. Yeah. Um, in terms of sieves, I think. Like you said, Mongols is a great pick. Huns is another. Oh, great well, pick hold on a second. To pick. Are the zebras turning into trees? I think. Oh, that's they what's are. Happening. As soon as you. Oh, as soon as you harvest them. Ah. Uh, Yo, we're we're going from desert to savanna here, boys. Okay. We're doing it. Well, you know, this makes it a bit playable. It does slightly strange, slightly strange, slightly change the strategy. I think. Um. Okay. I hate this, to have interrupted good, you, then. but your theory slightly like, is not going to work as no, much now. No, it's wrong now. Yeah. yeah, it's wrong now. So, I don't even know how to analyze this now. Me either. I mean, I guess <laughs> Mongols would by far be the best now. I mean, it's essentially it's... a wood bonus. It's a food and wood bonus if you're Mongols, because you yeah. get to the trees faster, in a way. Or Japanese would be good, too. Oh, yeah, because you will need so many mills and, uh, and lumber, lumber camps. camps. Yeah. Yeah. So, does wood turn into something once you chop the tree? We'll see. Can we just appreciate the fact that, you know, these nothing maps have been made playable? Because if it was just zebras, one person would get to the oh, market wood, first. The wood turns into a zebra. It's a never-ending circle. <laughs> Wait, where? Give me an example. We need to it's find... It's the circle of life. <laughs> 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 Wait, so you never have to build I just saw I just saw blue finish a tree and I pretty I'm pretty sure it turned into a zebra. <laughs> Look at purple's TC. No, 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 I'm gonna I'm, I'm right focused there. on red right here. No, you idiot, Eldry chop the tree. Where? Purple? Purple. Purple's TC. Oh! Yeah, it turns into a zebra! It's there! Wow. It's the circle of life. Wait, does it just keep going? I mean Yeah. I guess so, right? Okay. Well, um, this is a diplomacy regicide game, so everyone has a king, and, uh, does everyone have Carto? Oh, no, Purple's Portuguese, so he is Carto for free in, in Dark Age. Nice. So, yeah. how, how are they ever going to get room in this map? Yeah, you're right, it'll be hard to maneuver. Hmm. <laughs> you know, like, Celts would be good, I guess, for the wood shopping. Look at how quick they're going up to feudal, too. They're just, they're so just much on food. their way. Yeah. Well, you still need a market, Dave, because there's still no gold and no stone. So oh, yeah. building a market in feudal is definitely the strat. And we already saw that from Eldry, and he has a whole 70, <laughs> whole 70 gold right now. I would sell all the food. Like, why look even at, hold like, on to food? Look at Mouch Lawa, too. Like, the way he's killing his zebras, like, they... Man, he's blocking off his entire base. It's going to be so hard to function with all of these trees in the way. Mm -hmm. Wow. Well... I guess a lot of the map could stay as zebras if you keep tasking the lumberjacks back to the same like tree or zebra. You know what I mean? Like, if you don't yeah. if you don't uh, hunt the zebras in the center, then you should be able to maneuver. But if you hunt all of those, then life well, will be I difficult. Mean, I, I think if you kill them with a military unit or with a building, like regular ones, oh. maybe they won't turn into trees. So Good maybe point. later in the game, you can actually like clear out a substantial area but it, it'll take effort to do that so Matchlawa has done what i wanted eldry to do see how eldry only has nine gold look at Matchlawa. he sold all of his food and he got there first yeah i think he got there second but 
Eldritch is sold just enough so he can go to Castle Age. I'm not sure what Castle Age really gives you here. I think getting as much gold as possible is the play. Oh, can you can you imagine trade <laughs> in between the zebras, man? Well, you're gonna have to. It's gonna be like forest nothing, man. You're gonna have to clear it out. You know, you're gonna have to go back with military units or towers for that matter if, and yeah. just shoot them if they if they don't turn into trees when they die. If you shoot them with military, yeah, units. we'll we'll see. Uh, someone could easily make a spearman or an archer to show us. All right, so I didn't expect this. For those that are watching this on YouTube and haven't heard. Uh, this says new nothing map. That's it. So the creator of this map actually went to bed, gave this to me, and he didn't want to spoil what it was. He didn't really explain much. Can we talk about the positions here, like blue and, and green, yeah. and how close they are? They're pretty close. The map creator did say to do it on size 6. So I, I guess that means they're going to stay allied. They could always turn on each other, but I think it would be smart for them to stay allied. Too. Yeah. So if they do turn on each other, I mean, it's not like the other person has much warning before they get sniped. Uh, Dave, question for you. You know how you can palisade straggler trees? Yeah. Oh, never mind. I already answered my own question. Yeah, I think these can be palisaded. The Acadias? Wait. So then the zebra just disappears. Then. Wait. A tree just finished for Eldry, I think. And there's no zebra. Does it run out after a period of time? Like after so many switches? Maybe it only works twice. Let's pay attention to this tree. It's at 100 right now. Who is it? Eldry, sorry. Yeah. And he keeps switching, man. He keeps switching every time I want to use Eldry as an example. Because I'm, I'm fairly certain that that just stopped. Because Match Lau is having a big problem with trees right now. Yeah, so but I, don't know, I think like... he's going after different zebras, though. Maybe. Like He doesn't seem to be chopping these trees around him at all. It's going to turn from zebra nothing to forest nothing for Match Lau pretty quick here. <laughs> yeah, he has plenty of gold. He just needs to wait for food, and then he'll be on his way. And there he goes. Uh, I guess we'll, we'll have to look for examples. Oh, my goodness. Look look at Gray with these scouts running through the zebras. Make way. <laughs> Watch out. He's at Teal's base right now, Dave. He's going to deny a TC. Well, if he can get there. Okay. He is uh, allied to everyone, so I... Oh, this is on fast speed, too. I was wondering why those were running so Yeah, quick. it's it's really funny when they run in between the zebras. Man, kill him. <laughs> oh, he's allied with Ray. Okay. <laughs> yeah, he's just, just passing, man. I mean, why make... Look, look at how many stables he's trying to make here. Jeez. Well, I mean, he can afford it. Yeah, for sure, for sure. I guess getting to Castle Age faster doesn't necessarily... He still has 900 food with all the scouts he's made. He just can't make the blacksmith because he killed a zebra on top of it. So <laughs> I saw that. <laughs> <laughs> she hasn't figured that out yet. He's having problems. <laughs> and then that zebra, when the zebra's gone, it's going to turn into a tree. <laughs> oh, God. Will it turn into... Yeah, I guess it will on top of the building. And will it deny the building, though? You mean, will it cancel it? Yeah, maybe. Hmm. We'll see. Yeah, I've never seen that before. That literally never happens. A tree being created on a building foundation. Yeah. I don't know. All right, well, well. oh. Did he delete it? Yeah, he got rid of it. Yeah, he ah, repositioned it. All right. Well, he's paying attention. Shame on him. I, I'm really curious about the if the trees, like on the second time, uh, turn back into a zebra. It's really hard for us to know how many times it switched. And already if the signal for Johnny is, map, is in the corner. Yep. You could do some disgusting scout rushes. <laughs> like you, could do like, you could do like a, a 12 pop-up, like yeah. double stable scout rush. So it would be filthy. I think our best bet is to find some of these trees that are close to the town centers. Okay, so I'm watching Johnny's zebra here. Will he shoot that zebra? Yeah, he is. Okay. So, right, so we'll, I'll watch it. Yeah, watch that. And I think... When I saw it at Eldry's base, as long as I wasn't seeing things, um, the tree did not turn back into a zebra. So we would need that to be another tree, and then we need to play close attention. I, I don't know if anyone watching on Twitch saw something different. It stopped since there were villagers, so it couldn't spawn. Oh, like a villager okay. stood over it. Okay. So it turned into a tree now. Now he's to chop so that he's same have tree. To chop that one. Yeah. Maybe that is the theory. A villager was blocking it. <clears throat> That would make sense. Yeah. Well, anyway, guys, so you need to sell food and sell wood to get gold. 
Um, you need oh to trade God, for through, gold, and then you could buy go the stone as well. Like, just go through the food. Like, who has 2,700? I just saw it. Ray has almost 3,000 food. <laughs> and he's got three TCs pumping. Well... All right, let's 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 bring up the overlay to see how many villagers they have. 45, Ray. 54 45. for Neshlau, wow. wow. He needs to sell the food, though. I mean, maybe I'm wrong, but I feel like no, selling No, he needs food... to sell it, buy some stone, get more TCs down. Have you seen a unit killing a zebra yet? I have not spotted that. No, I haven't. Even if they're not trying it, they have to misclick at some point. So... We'll see. Ray, I think, made the spearman in defense because he saw Gray roaming around. Match Laua already with the trade. Wow, yeah. he's starting that early. He's going to uh, purple. Match Laua is normally red, so I'm confused. He's yellow this time. I want to see what Spongy's doing. He's got units queued up. A knight, a bunch of spearmen. Spongy's about to go on the attack. Making an archer range, too. <laughs> So, what's up with that one tree for Orange? Did he chop it? No. No. <laughs> this is impossible. I think that what was mentioned in the Twitch chat is correct. I think a villager was probably blocking it. Probably. Yeah. I think we gotta wait till a unit kills one to see if that actually... Yeah, and it's impossible to look out for it. It's like a... Shoot, what's the saying? It's like a... <laughs> Just help me out here, know. Dave. <laughs> There's a the thing. Oh, a watch, a watch pot never boils. That's oh, what it is. Oh, a watch pot never boils. <laughs> like, come on, okay. man. <laughs> yeah, for some reason, I was confused. Mind reader. <laughs> it's alright. It's fine. Uh, it, it could also be like a needle in a haystack, yes. So, looking at the players right now, Match Lau is killing it, man. 82 villagers. Wow. Look at the next best. 64 from Johnny. And he hasn't built a Mongols. single farm. <laughs> yeah, and the slabs either. are still killing it, yeah. yeah. And then Match Lau and Ray, easily the two best players in this game, based off all the community games I've seen over the past few years. I think Ray... Ray's going for light cav to use his food, but I think Match Lawa has the right approach. Like, he's made... How many TCs has he made? One, two, three... He's got... He's got to have more Imagine than that. Imagine Spanish on this. You could just build TCs everywhere. You have consistent food income. Go for supremacy. You know, Ray just pointed something out. When you finish chopping a tree or hunting a zebra, uh, the villagers stop. So instead of oh, going to yeah. the next tree or the next zebra, they stop because, uh, I don't know, they get confused by the change. So you'll see a lot of idols for the players, and Match Lala's even doing good with that. He only has four idol villagers right now. Maybe that's why Ray... I, I don't know if they stop once they're done with the zebra, if another zebra is in sight, though. Maybe it's a tree. I'm going to look at blue space right tree. now. What? What? Purple! What happened? He must have had his king out in the open, man. He had it out in the open. Oh, Delphalor's dead. Ruthless from from Min, Min Jam. Uh, it's I think both their community game debuts. Been jamping. What are you doing? All right, well, one down. Thirty Apparently minutes. Didn't in. like his trading partner. <laughs> wait, wait, were they trading together? Yeah. <laughs> Gray even had like here. Still, I think so he's Ray might have enemied trade. him first, to be honest, because maybe like, he's enemy to him. So I don't know. Franks would be, uh, or Mongols. You know, Mongols are even good because of the extra HP light cav and castle age. If you wanted to make yep. them, yep. This is a great map for Mongols. Another thing is, if you build a castle with them, you can research nomads, and then your lost houses don't uh, lose pop space. You could delete all the houses; there'd be less clutter. True. But, you know, the trade is in the corner for Blue. Not sure what happened to his villager out here. I saw a comment earlier about the market positioning being weird. <laughs> look look at the trade cart, man. Working his way along the edge of the map. Oh, slow, too. Yeah, bumping into zebras. Upgrade. Just imagine it's when like there's 20 red. to 30 trade. Red Eldry needs that upgrade, too. He should know better than that. I guess they don't have it. Uh, Eldry's getting it now, okay. Oh, this is going to be so cluttery, though. 
Oh, I almost can't wait to see what it looks like. <laughs> like, I, I like how the edges of the map are all zebra, and then you get near their base, and it's like some kind of tropical resort. Yeah. Like, all the trees. It's really picturesque. unique. Yeah. Yeah, this is really cool. If you really wanted to, you could funnel, like, you could build a wall system that, like, funnels zebras into it. And then just like kill them along the way. Yeah, I, I like. <laughs> if I you think had that, time, <laughs> I was gonna say I think that would take a lot of time. If you had time, you could do it. <laughs> All right, that's gonna be the T ninety challenge right there. <laughs> like, just you, you have five fall hours. Off the map with trees. <laughs> Easy. It's like the Cannibal Islands map where you said, oh, you just need to line up bodies and delete them all and you're safe. <laughs> it's like, yeah, just need to line up hundreds of bodies and delete them. <laughs> Man, I've sat here and watched your community games while people do nothing for two hours. Yeah, you're right. right. At least they can be constructive you're right. with their time. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, so I'm fairly certain that once Lumberjacks finish a tree, they don't go to the next tree. We'll see an example here at Machalala's base. They drop off the wood... And they just stand it there. Yeah, okay, that's what it is. That's going to create a lot of idols. Yeah, they're all allied right now, but it kind of makes sense to be allied if you need to trade. And Ray says, Eldry talking only to you. Okay. I'm going to hit, hit Match Lawa. Now, I'm on Johnny's point of view, Man, and I can see that. Look at Match Lawa's vil count, dude. He's booming like a madman. Oh, boy. And Ray's got so many light cav, but that's not enough, dude. That king can get away right now. That king can get away right now. That if he garrisons all the village pair, if he has his own light cav, they're not. He's not gonna kill it. There's no way. He knows it's coming. He knows it's coming. There's no way. He sees it. He has his own light cav in defense. Same upgrades. Yeah, I think the king will survive, but a lot of vils will die, which is not necessarily a bad thing for Maxwell, but. I don't know, man. I think this is good from Ray. He has 69 military. It's 18 for yellow. Jeez, this is so hectic. Even Pikeman coming in for Ray. Johnny is selling so much food. Oh my god, now he's buying stone. This is all very good for Johnny. Johnny and has everyone, such an really. advantage on the other players. Having that Mongol hunt bonus. Yeah, I think so as well. That's unbelievable. I think... I just trying to assess the situation here at Match of Alice Base. I'm not sure he has the production, Dave. That Ray would need some siege here, but he's certainly damaging Match Lau an awful lot. And uh, I think if Match Lau goes into Pikeman, he can definitely push. This yes, back. yeah, he has that one barracks though, uh, producing spears, and that's it. So he doesn't have anything else. Yeah. Oh, look at how many vils he's lost. he's lost fifty. Yeah. Wow. He went okay, from yeah, 150 pop to 80 population and Ray's at 150. Yeah. Well, like yeah, I said, there goes his boom. Match Lala yeah. and Ray are the two strongest players, so it makes sense for Ray to do this. It makes it much easier for him to win the game later on. Also, Match Lala had a lot of trade running. Even some of the trade is dying to the light cav. Yeah, he's got no res now. Yeah. He's got no food. He's producing light cav from all the stables, but what he really needs is pikemen. Yeah. He doesn't need light cav. Well, Dave, meanwhile, Johnny is building a castle, and that means he can make Manga die, which would be pretty insane. We, we've seen it in some of these maps where different units decay. It creates a, a meat shield or a tree shield for ranged units, and Manga die, one of the best ranged units the game has. I like the idea that you could be running away from an army with Manga die, and then you get into a corner and maybe kill all the zebras around you if they turn into trees. Yeah, yeah. But I, I have a suspicion that the zebras will just not turn into trees and just disappear if you kill them. Well, the if that's the case, then you should get archers on the edge of the map to clear up your yep. trade, you know? Yep. But no one has tried but, that yet, so we'll see. Yeah, I haven't seen it. Maybe they have and maybe it doesn't happen. I, I don't know. Yeah, it's kind of hard to tell. I mean, light cav, you, you can't kill zebras with light cav, so they wouldn't have made that mistake or they wouldn't have even tested that yet. To Matrix says they'll turn into trees. We should probably touch uh, trust to Matrix. He's probably tested this before. Wow, yellow. His pop is so bad, Dave. He doesn't even have food. He lost a hundred villagers. You know, it's what's that's funny a, is he, he needs food, and all he has around him is trees. <laughs> yep. Yep. Yeah. Okay. To get food, you must first chop wood. 
That's the theory. Green, decent population for him. He has the most trade in the game, 13, Dave. Now, he doesn't have the best trade route. I think he's trading to he's purple? Trading with blue the last time I saw. Is he trading with purple now? Oh, orange. orange oh, okay. and now here comes teal into there. What's Ray going to do over there? Green's got his own light calf patrolling. Is, don't tell me the king's exposed. Oh, the king's just chilling out next to the one TC. Why do people keep doing this? I think that's what Gray did. It, it is exposed. It is really confusing, though. Like, this map yeah. is... <laughs> this map is just... Ridiculous. Ray apologizes. He says, uh, sorry, Green, mispathing, which might be believable. <laughs> you know, maybe that's the truth. Now, Ray has put a huge target on his back with his score. Uh, and Eldry, he's kind of in on it, remember. Eldry has barracks, Dave. He's an imp. So he could go for Halberdier and champion his goths. It's so cheap to do that. He's got... He's got a huge boom going on right yeah. now, too. Yeah, I think Ray needs to be careful. Ray needs to speak to Eldry and say, hey, listen, we need to work together. Look at Eldry's res, and look at all of his TCs have 15 villagers queued up in them. Yeah, wow, probably not necessary the... at this point. He's going for the 210 vil boom. <laughs> probably not necessary doing. at this point. But, you know, the idea is to be able to sell resources and then trade. And he is trading. Oh, no, I don't like this. Why is he taking the zebras in the southern corner next to his market? They're going to turn into trees, and that the trees don't move. Zebras do move. I don't know. He could block his own trade here if he's not careful. Oh, he's definitely going to do it. <laughs> Depends what zebra like he His trade's already next. running around in circles. Oh, this is a disaster, man. He doesn't even have a lumber camp here. No, why this is he is doing this? Dude, this is one of those maps where you watch it and you ask yes. why is he doing this, yeah, and yeah. then you play it and it's and it's a shit show. Yeah. And you can't control anything. You don't know what you're doing at any given moment. He's got 181 villagers. He can't control everything. Yep. At the same time. Yeah. Very easy for us as spectators to say, oh, I mean, we can see this is happening, but they they're in the heat of the moment. Not only do they have a lot of people watching and they know it, but it's very very different. I'm I like Spongy. Spongy, you know, he said, I'm going to cut this off at around 78 villagers. Not yeah. going to make any more. Going to build a wall. It's going to be great between me and Green. <laughs> you see this and wall. <laughs> I'm just going to just gonna chill. This wall is pretty unique, I have to say. Spongy's my boy. Now, Sp you, you, you talked about Spongy before the game started. You said you liked yeah. his name, so it's not the first time you've root, root for someone for that reason. He's also one in like twenty-eight on the RM team games last. Ah, so. I see. So. <laughs> <laughs> got, got a pull for Spongy. <laughs> oh man. Well, in terms of of positioning, I'd say uh, Eldry's looking pretty good. Uh, I haven't checked up on Johnny in a while. Johnny's making scouts, and he is making Manga Die. Has Bracer as well. Uh, what's the cost of stone right now? It's pretty cheap. Two hundred thirty-seven gold per 100 so it's realistic actually to buy more castles also uh johnny does not have the threat of gray now because gray is dead so he doesn't have to worry about him surprising him ray kind of stopped attacking match lawa and match lawa is trying to work his way back into the game well ray stopped attacking match lawa because uh oh majambin came in and crushed his one area yeah i see that one side of his base and with johnny it looks like was johnny attacking him or no i i think he was because the rams are on low hp but maybe they settle their differences maybe johnny was attacking purple that's likely as well is he going back in here Johnny is allied with purple, so maybe <laughs> he's allied with Ray, and now he's going in. Dave, look at all these. Orange, please leave. Look at all these trade cards getting clogged I up. See that. They're all full oh, they, with a hundred the gold. From Ray. The, Johnny is chasing after the king from Ray. The Ray sees it. He said, "Please leave." Yeah. He's gonna clean this up. But his trade—that's a thousand that. gold clogged up in the trees right there. Yeah, Johnny, that's not gonna work, buddy. Yeah. Johnny doesn't know how to do it. How many trade cards are going to get stuck in here? That's 10? <laughs> They're all full as well, I think. 
Oh my goodness. See, you don't want to chop the trees near the outer edge. That's you don't want to take the zebras, sorry. You need to leave those. It wouldn't be necessarily a trade raid, but if you wanted to annoy someone's oh trade, God. you could you could get the zebras. Look at the there. trade in the corner now too with Eldry. Uh oh, and he's building a lumber camp to clear it up now. I guess if oh, you no. don't if you don't hunt after that, then it could be fine. But that's a lot of damage done. So many trees here. Ouch. And I think with the zebras, when a zebra finishes and it becomes a tree, they go to another zebra. Whereas if you're chopping a tree and you finish that, your villager just stops. Like the only idle time only happens after you finish a tree, not a zebra. So basically you're going to be hunting all the time. So yellow is attacking Ray now. And I is Ray enemied with him? Yes, he is. Okay. Of course, because he attacked him before, and Machelar is trying to get back at him. I like that. I like a little bit of self-respect, you know. Yep. You realize Ray's really that you could, struggling too. You realize that you could probably, uh, you could probably be more patient and win the game more successfully if you didn't attack. But he says, "Nah, screw you for doing that to I'm me." Just, I'm wondering what Eldry's going to do because he has a ton of resources. He should. He's got a ton of villagers. He needs to delete some, clear up his trade, and go ch go Huskarl. Go Huskarl, yep. help. There's no reason not to do that here. I think he's just being patient. He's waiting to unleash the beast. Everyone else is making light cav. If you go help, mm -hmm. no done. chance. Except for uh, Johnny. Johnny is making some mega die and camels. Yeah, but camels will die to hell. Yeah, exactly. So even though his mega die, I, I don't think they're fully upgraded. It doesn't have chemistry. Probably doesn't have his. Yeah, I. They're probably not even elite. God, the trade. Just... <laughs> Jeez, selling so much res. The the trade, man. I'm looking at the at Eldry's corner, along the edge of the map. There, these trade cards just keep getting stuck. Ouch, hurts to see. You know, the other side in the north, that's the trade route you want to trade in. That's perfect. Mm -hmm. and right along that untouched, untouched edge of the map. Yep. Oh, and Purple's building a castle right next to that. That's interesting. Secure. If he were to turn on someone, then he could kill all that trade. T90 official, what is this game mode? Uh, this is bore nothing. <clears throat> it's crazy. Nah, it's zebra nothing, man. And uh, I assume a few other people haven't heard as well. If you kill the zebras, turns into trees. And then if you chop the trees, it turns back into zebras. It's a cir it's the it's the circle of life, kind of. Yep. But the mistake it Eldry's making a big mistake in taking all this food here. Why is Majambin getting horse collar? Why? <laughs> he needs farms, man. Has anyone yeah, built Ray a farm? Ray is getting horse collar too. Ray's making farms. He's done with these zebras. He's like, I'm, I'm done with this. Well, I guess, I guess it, it just creates sense, problems, right? Yeah. Okay. I lick the poo poo. Thank you very much for the prime sub. Oh my god. I'm kind of sad. I had to say that out loud. Hmm. So Ray just he has pikes and he has light cav. Oh, and Johnny's building a castle here. So it is elite mega die for Johnny. He doesn't have a lot of them, but it's something. He has thumb, it looks like he has thumb ring. Yep. Uh, is Ray gonna stop the castle? Uh oh, Ray's gonna stop the castle. But it's alright. He has more builds where that came from. He can finish that. I think. Oh, Ray's gonna run right past it, actually. I don't think he's gonna stop it. Just passing. No. Hmm. Johnny's actually trying to quick wall his villagers in. You're gonna have to do a better job than that. <laughs> but Ray, I guess, is just gonna walk right past. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> Johnny, what are you doing, man? Egg, top plays. Like that, that does not suffice. <laughs> top like plays that. all around. No, Johnny's gonna call the GG. Don't call the GG. Castle, I mean, this is, this is so confusing. Yeah, you really have to have some mental strength to continue to play on this map. I mean, it's not often that a map literally changes terrain on you. Yes, exactly. 
Well, I think with two castles and the ability to make Manga die, he could be just fine. He just Look needs to mass a group of them. He's into Ray's base, but the way Ray took the zebras, there's no <laughs> way he can get to that TC. <laughs> That's brilliant. Man. Okay, that only TC on... well, is walled in. Walled in by trees. I wonder if getting Onager would allow you to get rid of the trees once and for all. It's a possibility, Maybe. I suppose. I, I think Purple's trying to reposition here. He just can't path through that. Do you think that was intentional from Ray, or just luck? Maybe it was intentional. Man, I noticed that Blue has an awful lot right now. Spongy? Cav Archers, Halbs. Yo, Spongy is where it's at. He is the best trade route in the game, dude. He's getting all the upgrades, too. He's just played it safe. Yep. Played it safe. He's got all the production buildings <clears throat> there. He's ready to go. Huns, you don't need to make houses. He's he's working it. I want to see him shoot a zebra with his Cav Archers. Or I want to see someone kill a zebra with the pikemen to see exactly what happens. Oh! Eldry, Eldry is unleashing the Huskarls, and I oh, think he's going he after Ray. Yeah, Ray's, Ray's tough to take down, though, just because of those trees. Yeah. <laughs> the, the Huskarls are trapped. Oh my goodness, that's 20 units stacked there. What a nightmare! This, this, this almost seems like it was intentional. Can't be, though. Just getting lucky now. Huns would be good on this map because then you can maneuver easier, but then again, you're not as safe, I suppose. Still don't see how Ray can survive. I think Ray will be the second person to die here, Dave. That's a lot of Huskarls yeah. and Halbs. Unless someone else attacks Eldry, Ray's definitely gonna die. Yep. Yeah, and Eldry's. Where's his king? Is it in, it's, it's oh, in it's the other, in that TC. other TC? Yeah. Okay. Which will eventually die. I mean, a few light cav is not gonna stop this from happening. The king probably can't run away all that easily either. Oh, and Eldry gets right underneath. That's perfect. The king oh, he is ejected. can walk through the trees, I guess. Can he go after the king now? <laughs> the king's going to get king? away. Oh, there it is. <laughs> He's running. The king can maneuver faster than the Huskarls. Ray doesn't have a single TC. He's at 22 pop. And that'll only get worse. Yeah, he's going to be out of the game. He can give some words of support to his allies if he has any out there. <laughs> Johnny says, whoever made this should not be allowed to play this game ever. Okay. Well, that's his hello to Teutonic Tanks for making this. <laughs> no, I did say ahead of time, like, this is a nothing map, right? Oh, purple's, purple sees Ray's king. Purple ran right by it. Where is it? Ray! Where is it? Ray! I don't see it. He's running away from red now. Oh! Oh, he's dead. Oh! Oh, did you see that, Dave? We didn't notice that before with Gray. The, yeah, the king turns into a the relic. The king turns into a relic. Did, did Purple get one? Yep. Did he, though? He didn't um, take it. There is one over there, though. Yeah, oh. there's a relic. Oh! There. Wow, okay. That's going to be tough for Eldry to bring home. But it's something he should take advantage of, for sure. I like that feature. I, I think it promotes king sniping, which I like. Oh, okay, so I just saw an onager hit a tree and it turned into a zebra. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> Alright. Well, that's not worth it. I was really thinking you could clean it up. Eldry's got to be favorite, Dave, with those resources. Oh, yeah, for sure. I mean, Blue, Blue's done a good job building up, but he doesn't really have the sustainable resources to keep producing units. Green, not enough gold. Purple, looking okay, but Eldry just has the better boom. Ma Match Lawa has decent resources considering he was down to 50 population. He's also making champions as slavs. So that could if work well. If he could well. get Drazina, then yeah. Then for sure, yep. Yeah. But I don't think he has a castle, does he? He does not, no. And I think stone now, yeah, 330 gold to buy 100 stone. See, a lot of players deleting their own units to get population space. Blue is just deleting vills. You know what? Maybe you just try and go for king snipes. I know it's hard to maneuver, but 
Instead of that normal push where you try and take out all the buildings in traditional fashion, why not just try and snipe kings? So who do you think's next? Is it green? Oh, man. It's I... kind of sandwiched there between, like, three people. Yeah, and he doesn't have gold. He's certainly the weakest link right now. Johnny doesn't seem too confident, and he's actually at 60 pop, Dave. So Johnny's Johnny could the have weakest. done great things here. I, I agree, yeah. I, but he's buying stone to make watchtowers, so oh, I don't really... What? Yeah, he doesn't seem like the <laughs> most confident, I agree. <laughs> Seed uh, towers. Uh, well, he has two castles. He just doesn't have any trade anymore. I'm not sure he had much to begin with. Maybe Johnny's next. Johnny or Green. I can't... I don't see Match Lawa dying. Whoa. Here. Dave, Purple's Castle next to the trade line in the north-ish. Yeah. Petards. <laughs> what? <laughs> Let's... Where, where is he going with this? What, what can he do with I this? I don't know. I, I don't know oh. how Petards are going to maneuver here. Spongy enemy, Green. What? Spongy's going for Green. Well, we called that one, didn't we? Yep. Spongy oh, is going for green, but green's king is on the opposite side of the base. It's going to take him a while to get there, <laughs> but he's got, a, he's got a good composition. He's got elite Tarkin cavalry archer, and he's getting chemistry to round out the upgrades. So Yeah, he'll have full upgrades. Yeah, and I, he has Halberdier researched. I mean, it's a good it's a good army comp, I think as the long con as he keeps up production. The concern is just pushing forward. It just yeah. takes some time. Uh, oh, and then a big fight between Machlawa and Eldry, and Eldry is completely outmatched here. He doesn't have the champion upgrade himself. So it's Huskarls and Halberdiers versus champions, and champions are definitely going to win out there. If Machlawa gets Drazina, it's like, it's, Goths are just, Goths yeah. can't, yeah. Goths He's lack so many upgrades. Goths. The beauty of Goth infantry, and I don't know why Yellow's running back. Uh, the beauty, oh my god, oh my god, there's a hole next to the TC? And Eldry's going oh, in he's for the in. snipe? Dude, if that king can't escape, look, he's desperately... Oh! The lead in the north. The king's trying to get out. He can't get out. What? Man, get him! Get him! Oh, my God! What a play. He was completely outmatched in the fight, but he ran in. He snuck through that hole and got the snipe. That was unexpected, man. Dude, Eldry! That was awesome. Play. That was awesome, man, to, to realize who's at a disadvantage and go for it. And here comes Blue. Look at Blue. Yeah. Spongy. Well, Spongy has gold units. It, Green does not. Green has Khmer Light Cav. And I'm sure he can kill a Treb or two, but that's going to be the end of it. Is his king inside that castle, Dave? It is. We could have another player go down. Wow. Things went from 0 to 60 really quick here. Yeah. Purple said crap. Was he... Where does Petards go? These are Tarkins. There's go there goes the king. Where where's does the king? Blue see it? Oh, there he it is. does. Yeah, it's dead. Okay, but where did Purple's Petards go? Cause he said crap, and I don't see them. Um, I see one in Blue's base, lurking behind the trees. So maybe Blue saw that and killed it. I don't think so though, cause he's allied with him. Johnny, Johnny's defeated. I think he, he he sent resources to someone, pieced out. Oh, okay. Yeah, so it's like a more like a self defeating move there, suicide. Wow, we had three three players go down in a minute. Yeah, and okay. and now it's Eldry who's Goths, a uh, Sponge who is Huns, and then Purple who is Portuguese. Uh, probably they would favor the Goths. Yep. Yeah, because because Goths have all the answers to. To Huns, but you know, Sponge is being aggressive as well. It's, it's whoever snipes the king first here. Um, purple and blue need to team up against red, I think. I think Eldry might be allied to blue right now. Yeah, he is, and he's against purple, so they're actually this is working in Eldry's favor, I think, to take care of purple. Oh, blue turns on red as red is going to kill purple. Okay. So Eldry's uh, like, all right, I'm not going to kill purple then. I'll just attack your units. Not sure blue has the best army comp to fight red, but he's getting two-handed... Oh, he's switching up. He's getting champion now, or two-handed swordsman. Wow. That... 
Again, Eldry, just going for the snipes. So many players can learn from Eldry here. Especially when you have resources. Just, just try, you know? And the king is inside this town center. It goes to the right. Now, can it escape? Blue is there as well. Blue could see that. He, that uh, king is pathing really badly. Oh, oh buddy. Oh, buddy. You got to... Oh, it's dead. Yeah. Eldry again with the snipe. And uh, just to let you know, Blue did ally purple there. So they were going to form an alliance against Eldry. Eldry was just too quick. Three and, players he sniped. Yeah. You just know, clinical. if there's one... If there's one Civ that can't snipe kings, though, it's Huns. Yeah. With Tarkins. So maybe Blue needs to take a page at Eldry's book. Find yeah. his king. Yeah, and, uh... My goodness, Eldry has currently 153 military, Dave. <laughs> He's oh 153. God. But, okay, I just heard the trees and noise. So that means Blue has done Blue's exactly that. Blue's on the that. way. Look yeah. at that army. It's weaving its way through the trees. He's got Tarkins. He's got Trebs. He has a forward castle as well. He's a 200 pop too. I think he probably has more vills. I believe military. in Spongy, man. Well, you called it. You said Spongy's got to look out for. If he can make... He just needs to take out the castle. Because then there's really nowhere safe to hide. For LG. Yeah, but there's a lot of red army. <laughs> to into, oh, just passing? Yeah, okay, they're just going to walk past each other? All right. It's just a race to see who can snipe first, I suppose. That's fair. I mean, I think that Eldry's going to win this race. He's running towards Blue's base. The second he sees a castle, he knows he needs to kill it. He sees the castle. And meanwhile, Blue is working his way in. If Eldry doesn't Blue, defend... Blue made a forward castle, and now he's making petards. So <laughs> I don't know what he's planning, but it's pretty epic. Now he's sending the villagers forward. If he gets sappers right now, he's not <laughs> Oh, Eldry realizes, though, and so he will, I think... Yeah, he should keep himself alive and... Blue's running his king. He's running it. He sees Eldry trying to go for the snipe. Runs it to the southern TC. Eldry's probably kicking himself for for creating all these trees earlier. You know, as he chases it, it's like, Oh man, why did I do that? <laughs> Can Blue do this, though? It's so unlikely. He would ah, have to... That... You know what? It's still possible. What he needs is cab archers, and he just needs one treb shot, and that king ejects. Yep. Just or one he needs a bunch of trebuchets, it kills the castle, and then snipes the king with trebs as it's running away. <laughs> I mean, Petards, Petards will add a lot of style points to his victory if he wins, but I highly doubt he's going to pull that off. He's got the king in the Petard castle as well. Which Eldry's prop? Does Eldry know about that? Yeah, Eldry sees it. Man, if Spongy can pull this off, this is going to be epic. I don't think he can. He's sending the petards now, but they're going to have to go through, like, the gauntlet of death to get to the castle. They're not even going to get there. It's just a distraction for the petards. I mean, the Tarkin, sorry. Uh, hit it! Hit it! Hit it! <laughs> you got one hit. It's not going to work, man. Nope. And his king is right there, and Eldry gets the win. That's four kings he took down. That's that was impressive. really that was really impressive. What was the most impressive for Eldry was his eco and the fact that he took some chances, you know. Um when other people were being killed off, they it took some time, you know. Blue, for example, when he was pushing against green, took out a lot of buildings, was just camping his siege and protecting that. Eldry said, screw that. I don't think he made a single treb, right? No. Nope. Not a single treb, not a single ram. He just weaved his way through the zebras and through the trees and got those king snipes. Uh, you know, uh, I'm kind of happy <laughs> that people died so quickly. I was really worried it was going to stall out there and no one could move through the trees and the zebras. So that was a very good ending to that game. Um, I am interested to see the vill count. Okay, 164 for Eldry. That was a lot more than anyone else. And he was rewarded. He had 95,000 food. And I think his sieve was good for this as well, Dave. Yeah, his sieve was really good. Goss, yeah. Did they, sure. uh, guys, did you pick civilizations for this? Audrey said T90 Goths may have been a bit OP for this. Well, you're taking a little bit of credit away from yourself there, Audrey. You played well. Yeah, I think Mongols are more OP than Goths. Yeah, I, I think I think you played just very good. Um, he did random sieve, gotcha. And Goths were certainly good, but it's how you played them, right? 
Um, the Mongols with their hunt and then the fact that they they could get feudal faster and then potentially get the castles. Like Johnny got castles, for example. He just didn't get to the Mangadai. Uh, would be sweet. I, I wonder if getting heavy scorpion is realistic on this map. Because heavy scorpion in those choke points would be so insanely good. Maybe. Yeah, but you can't really go with go anywhere with them, you know? Yeah, yeah, maybe they just get stuck. That's the problem. They're good for defense, but not for offense. Yep. Well, things to think about. If we do that again in the future, that was zebra nothing. The villager high for, for Eldry was 208. His military high was 164, sorry. His villager high was 208. You know, you had said Eldry's going for the 210 vill boom because yep. that's max pop for goths. Well, you have the king, so that's one population... Uh, that can't be a vill. He was close to 209. Yeah, man. Jeez. Good thing he didn't delete the king, Eldry. It's making babies in those TCs. 